Hey there, boaters. I'm Stacey Hanrahan, and welcome to Friday's episode of The Boaters TV. First up, our captain's caption photo was provided by Todd Bergstrom. We'll reveal the caption of the day at the end of the show. Now in smooth sailing, the new Morris 454 is tested by Blue Water Sailing Magazine. Chuck Payne has been designing boats for Morris yachts for more than 30 years. His newest creation, the Morris 454, combines sleek looks with great sailing abilities. Blue Water Sailing editor George Day had the chance to sail it 350 miles from Annapolis to Newport, Rhode Island. Along the way, they encountered rough weather and a front that provided a steady 20-knot wind with gusts up to 30 knots. The 454, a moderately light displacement racer cruiser, held a comfortable 8 knots when sailing 45 degrees off the wind. Probably thanks in part to a sheeting arrangement derived from Volvo Round the World racing boats that allows for extremely precise control of the jib's foot and leech tension. The Morris 454 is a semi-custom built boat that was modeled after a custom 45-footer called Firefly, a first-rate offshore racer and cruising boat. The 454's interior is as impressive as its exterior's long lines and well-laid-out sail plan. It has a raised saloon that provides extra storage below. The large windows provide ample amount of light when sitting at the chart table and the 454 has lower and upper berths placed over the boat's center of gravity, providing a pleasurable night's sleep even in a busy sea. George found the Morris 454 to be a true sailor's boat. To read his entire article, go to www.bwsailing.com. Now from a sailing boat test to a power boat test, it's time for our boat test reports feature of the week where we'll take a look at the 30 Express from Regulator. Captain Rob Smith with BoatTest.com on board the Regulator 30 Express. Yes, it's a brand new model from Regulator, the first in the series that brings family and fishing together. The twin opening 340 quart fish box in the stern wall can store a lot of fish or gear during the trip. These 316L stainless hauls pipes and rod holders in each side show the seriousness of this rig. What I'm finding is we have a little bit over 42 square feet of space here in the cockpit. Now that's important with a fishing boat, but it's also important with a family boat. You can have everybody back here, they can have a great time and have room to move about. We have North Star instrumentation, it's up high so it's easy to see. And uh, while I was out testing, it was in good visibility. I didn't have any trouble at all reading that. We have an optional bow thruster on this boat. I found it easy and safe to go forward after testing with good grab rails and the hard top to hold on to. The bow has a standard windlass and room to play at anchor. Got a head over here on the starboard side. It's got the toilet, sink, solid countertops, and about 70 inches of room floor to ceiling. Typically, if it's in fish mode, this is going to be storage area. So it's a double wide bed so that the kids can have a place to relax, or maybe even you and mom. The adjustable high table has a filler cushion to convert this into a V-berth for overnighting on the hook. If they add a swivel or slide, it will make getting around this table a real snap. Regulators are already making changes to better match the interior wood colors on the production models. This new family fishing machine measures 30 feet 5 inches length overall with a beam width of 10 feet 7 inches. She carries as much as 35 gallons of water and 300 gallons of fuel. Weighing in at 11,350 pounds dry, we tested with twin Yamaha 350 horsepower 8-cylinder 4-stroke outboards. Testing around the Miami Boat Show is always a challenge, but fishing rigs should be able to handle it. The 30 Express handled the rough stuff without even a blink. Turns were solid, acceleration was smooth, and a hull sliced through the heavy chop, smoothing out the ride nicely. She's on plane in 5.7 seconds and up to 30 miles per hour in 9. She cruises around 23.8 miles per hour at 3,500 RPMs for a range of 291 miles on a full tank. Thanks to Boat Test for that report. To see more of the Regulator 30 Express, you can cruise on over to Boat Test website at www.boattest.com. And now in Did You Know, it's the Year of the Reef. 
2008 has been declared the International Year of the Reef by the International Coral Reef Initiative. It's a worldwide campaign to get more individuals, organizations, and governments involved in the conservation of coral reefs. IYOR 2008 aims to raise awareness about the importance of coral reefs and the threats against them. Overfishing, pollution, and coastal development are three of the top reasons for reef loss and damage. But rising sea temperatures and increased levels of CO2 in our atmosphere are also threatening our world's reefs. Did you know coral reefs are a food source for 350 million people and provide $375 billion a year in goods and services? With 20% of the world's coral reefs destroyed and more damage being done each day, the year of the reef came just in time. Events and activities will take place around the world throughout the year. From science workshops to beach cleanups to even art exhibits, there are many ways to get involved. Everyone is encouraged to participate. You can help by eating only sustainable seafood, making a financial contribution, or simply spread the word. Oh, and if you need a little inspiration, just listen to the Year of the Reef song. The Year of the Reef is every year. Reefs sustain the life we hold so dear. The beauty of the reef everyone should see. The future of reefs depends on you and me. For more information on the International Year of the Reef, go to www.iyor.org. Now it's time to reveal Stacy's TheBoaters.com celebrity profile pick of the day, which is Captain Wendy Johnson and her 46-foot Moody Nalani. Wendy lives aboard her boat with her husband Matt and their dog Nemo. They love to travel and are planning an extended cruise next year. And they hope to one day embark on a round-the-world tour. Welcome to the boaters and congrats on your sea liberty status. And finally today, the captain's caption of the day is, I'm so glad I put that mirror on my paddle so I can look at myself. Submitted by Rick and Cheryl. And that'll do it for this episode of The Voters TV. See you back here on Monday. The year of the reef is every year. Reefs sustain the life we hold so dear. The beauty of the reef everyone should see. The future of reefs depends on you and me.